there was zero human evidence on tercasterone, and there's still zero human evidence on tercasterone today. And so 100% agree. How am I going to disagree? Y'all thinking I'm going to yell and scream at Jeff? He's saying there's zero human studies on tercasterone. There isn't any. Coach Greg, and in today's video, going to be going over a video by Jeff Nippert. It's called The Worst Supplements Everyone Takes for Muscle Growth Science Based. And of course, you have to expect in the comments, people keep saying my name. They keep calling me out saying, oh my goodness, Jeff is calling out Coach Greg Turkesterone. Have they never actually watched a single video from Coach Greg? Had they not watched the video where I literally called out the entire fitness industry when it revolves around turkesterone? Flashback. And so I challenge all companies selling turkesterone out there. Prove it. Prove that you're selling turkesterone. Show people with mass spectrometer testing that what's actually on the label is in fact what's on the label. Not saying it's impossible. I don't know. How would I know? But do we not owe it to the consumers to find out the FDA, I do believe, is leaving us wanting more. End of flashback. I said, listen, people, the FDA does not require the most advanced testing that's known today. And the FDA, they require the companies selling these products to have testing done. And so all the companies are getting the testing done. However, the problem is the tests are not accurate enough to distinguish the very minute differences between various ectosteroids. And so what we've done is we've sent our products and a number of other supplement companies to test out the turkesterone to see what's truly inside of it. But it's not their fault. They're using what the manufacturers are selling with the standards of testing required by the FDA, but it's simply not good enough. And yet people write, oh, Coach Greg getting called out. I've already called myself out. Turk Builder contains a variety of ectosteroids. It does not contain 50 milligrams of turkesterone. Does not contain 50 milligrams of turkesterone. Does not mean it doesn't work. It has a variety of ectosteroids. And upon talking to various leading researchers around the world, they all are saying that it's not turkesterone after all. That is the golden standard of what works as far as ectosteroids go. It's a variety of ectosteroids in unison that work together to produce the gains that people are experiencing. And so a lot of people are going to say, oh, because it's not turkesterone, it can't work. Number two on my list to avoid is turkesterone. Now, six months ago, I did a video breaking down what turkesterone is and why it isn't deserving of the marketing hype it's gotten over the last year or two. Flashback. What do I personally actually think deep down on the inside? I think that all turkesterone out there, it's not actually turkesterone. End of flashback. And so why are you still getting the gains? If it's not turkesterone after all, how is it possible that it's working? Most people are saying it's just placebo. What we're most likely seeing here is the power of placebo. It doesn't have to just be a placebo. It can in fact be that there's a different product inside this working called an ectosteroid. If you were to buy creatine and used it and it worked and you put on muscle and you found out at the end that it wasn't creatine, that it was actually anivar, does that mean it was just placebo? Or it could be that the anivar inside is what's actually working. And so it's not turkesterone, it's a variety of ectosteroids. And so when you buy Turk Builder, you're not buying turkesterone, you're buying ectosteroids. I have said this in a number of videos. And not only that, we had to re-edit 60 videos. 60! Do you know how many hours of work that took for me and the editors to change all the videos talking about turkesterone to remove that? You know how much work we put into that? Yeah, you read the comments, Coach Greg called out turkesterone. We've called ourselves out. Come on, people. And so rather than saying, Coach Greg, this or that, why aren't we saying, yeah, Coach Greg, he changed those videos. Coach Greg, he said it's not turkesterone, it's other ectosteroids. Why are people not calling out other people? Why is it just Coach Greg and sometimes Derek? Why is it just us two? Do you realize there's a ton of supplement companies out there that are still selling turkesterone, labeled as turkesterone, when in fact we don't know what's actually in it? And so a lot of people, they're going to just try to sweep it under the rug. Let's pretend this didn't happen. Ours turkesterone, let's not even talk about it. Most companies are not even speaking about it. They've never been called out. They've never been named. And so myself and sometimes Derek, we get into the video. Notice in this video, I saw my face. I saw Derek's face. Didn't see a bunch of other famous YouTubers. Didn't see a lot of other companies who are selling the same thing and simply getting away with it. 
Yet I've said, if you want to buy terkestrone, please ask the companies to show a mass spectrometer testing so that they can prove what's actually in their product and for each and every batch. We have tried to source terkestrone from a variety of manufacturers. They give us the product, they say, yup, it's terkestrone, I promise. Here's the FDA lab test. See, it is what you want. And then we test it with mass spectrometer testing and we find always way below label claim. And so it's not the fault of the manufacturers. They're using the testing that's required of them. However, it's not good enough. And so what does our company do? We ensure that it's good enough. We use the mass spectrometer test. And so we're doing everything and anything possible to be open and honest, to be transparent, to tell you what's actually being sold because we value you as a consumer and we want you to know exactly what you're buying. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not buying Coach Greg's Turf Builder because it's not actually Turkestrone, then that's fine. But don't just assume that all the other companies selling Turkestrone actually have Turkestrone inside. And so, do I agree with Jeff? Of course I do. Not only do these products have a sketchy science base to begin with, they also have serious quality control issues. He's not saying any lies. He's not bullshitting you. He's just saying what he knows to be true. He's giving you the facts, the evidence based on science. And is there a thousand studies out there saying that Turk Builder works? Of course not. And so what we have is a ton of anecdotal evidence. We have people who are taking it, making amazing progress and gains. And we have some human studies saying that it works, but we don't have a vast array, a variety of research, meta-analysis compiled together to say, look, it's just as effective as creatine and or better. So don't get caught up by the hype surrounding a new supplement. You won't miss out if you simply wait a year or two until additional studies are published. And so if you want to wait until more research comes out, of course, feel free to wait. But if you've seen other people use it, and you trust in the gains that they've made and you want to experience it yourself and you have the money, then why not? People spend money on a new supplement, they almost always do other things like start trading harder or eating a better diet, but then they falsely attribute any results they get to the new pills. My answer to that is yes and no. Yes, it could be all a placebo. It could have done absolutely nothing. Or the supplement may have actually worked. It may have had a benefit. Perhaps it helped you to recover more. And so you can train more. You can train harder. If a supplement allows you to recover more, then that therefore can allow you to train harder. And so is it the fact that you trained harder or the fact that the supplement allowed you to train harder? So in my opinion, a bit of both. There was zero human evidence on terkestrone and there's still zero human evidence on terkestrone today. And so 100% agree. How am I gonna disagree? Y'all thinking I'm gonna yell and scream at Jeff? He's saying there's zero human studies on terkestrone. There isn't any. And so there's not even terkestrone in the products that we're selling. They found that while Greg Doucette's Turk Builder claimed to contain 500 milligrams of terkestrone per capsule, it only actually contained 0.7 milligrams per capsule. And so they're saying Greg Doucette's Turkestrone claimed 500 milligrams of Turkestrone. We never actually said there's 500 milligrams. We said it's 500 milligrams standardized at 10%. However, there was one batch where the label manufacturer screwed up and put 500 milligrams of Turkestrone on the back. Never once have I stayed that. It didn't say that on the site. No one expected to get 500 milligrams of Turkestrone pills. Never stayed that. We said it's 10% of Ajuga Turkestrina, and it actually is that. And I made a video and I said, this is the actual results. I never hid behind anything. I called myself out, called out everyone in the fitness industry, yet people to this day are still saying, oh, thank God someone's calling Coach Greg out. I called myself out. It's kind of like back in the day when I made a natty or not on myself. And I said, this guy, Coach Greg, definitely is not natural. And said, I'm on PDs, I'm not natural. And then people made videos saying, Coach Greg is not natural, I'm calling him out. And I'm thinking, I already called myself out. I already got a natty or not on myself saying I'm not natural. And so if you call me out after I've called myself out, are you actually calling me out? there is some research on related ectosteroids. We've done so much research. Imagine how much more research Coach Greg and my team have done in comparison to Jeff Nippert for one video. Who do you think's research more? And so we have a variety of studies. And if you want to read those, click the link in the description. Go find and read all the studies. We've sent this to our newsletter subscribers. All the variety of studies translated from different languages and so on. And I've spoken to a variety of leading experts around the world on the topic. And so I do think I know what's going on. Perhaps in the future we'll be able to find turkestrone, but it's certainly not going to be dosed at 50 milligrams. Other companies have sold to pure curcesterone and it didn't even work as well as the variety of ectosteroids. 
And so pure terchesterone on its own, not as effective as a variety of ectosteroids. And so my personal opinion, if you were going to ask me, gun to my head, what's in everyone's supplements? I'm going to say a variety of ectosteroids. And that's why it's working. And so if you buy other companies' terchesterone products, my personal opinion, I do believe that it's going to be a variety of ectosteroids that's in there and that it's still going to work. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IP Pro. Please check out the bloops. And of course, if you want to get harder than last time supplements, including Turk Builder, soon to be called Acti Builder, click the link in the description. Also, cookbooks, training books, coaching plans from me and my team. Subscribe. Click that bell button. Comment for the algorithm. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IP Pro. My website, GregDuset.com. And until next time, I am out.